Father Sanpatik from CG Virus here. Now we are going to talk about transparency mask in Krita. So transparency mask is essentially a non-destructive uh, procedure uh, to create transparency uh, in your assets, in your image. So how can we use it? Um, we can use it in many different ways. You can use it with any kind of selection tool. You can go for a selection, crazy selection here. And uh, just go here, right click transparency mask it will create a transparency layer here so if you go to ctrl shift a you can do it like that and uh, lots of stuff but um we have used bezier curve tool for it so let's uh, go consistent with it so i'm going to ctrl g to group it now we are going for uh, ctrl alt v to have a vector layer here so now um, we are going for ctrl alt b to have our pen tool here or path tool or you know bezier curve tool and i'm just going to simply go here just a rough cut okay something like that press alt and go and something like that you know simple things so here we go so this is our um, mask okay so what we can do now is basically go to the select opec there we go now i want to create a transparency mask here so I'm just going to select my layer and I'm going to give it a transparency mask so now press ctrl shift a uh, we have our transparency mask so if you want to see your transparency mask you can go uh, to your mask and right click isolate layer you can see it's actually a luma or alpha mat nothing else so I'm just going to right click isolate uh, no, 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 I should clear again. Okay. So, if you want to create, uh, if you want to use your transparency mask, what you can do is press B to go to the brush selection, and um, you can use any kind of brush. Yeah. So, black means transparent. I'm uh, using black here. Okay. White means press X to invert the selection here. Press X. Okay. White means retain the layer. So you can use any kind of uh, paint layer here uh, if you want to use, uh, I don't know, um, which one, this one, yeah, oops, you can use it, uh, no, nah, it's it's not this one, yeah, uh, yeah, there we go, oh, this was, yeah, this was the sky, so press X to have black, there we go, so, uh, what we can do with it is uh, pretty much you know non-destructive form of transparency you can understand that so if I'm going to right click here and uh, select the OPEC okay so we have it right here so I can go to control alt I oops not I'm going to shift I to create the invert uh, to select the invert and uh, we can fill it okay the shortcut for fill is F okay you can do it like that or um, just uh, just you know go to the brush tool uh, you can use control backspace to fill you know uh, it will fill it with black this is the foreground fill if you go to X and control backspace again okay that's how you can work with it also I need to yeah I'm shift I there we go so you understood that right so there we go it's a non-destructive form of making things you know so that's how you can work with it transparency mask all right so what's next sky replacement so we're going to use this transparency mask system and uh, some curve system and uh, going to make a project sky replacement so let's see <laughs> 